Well, it's pouring rain out, and I got a bunch of lithium battery stuff came in over the last couple days that are going to go into my travel trailer. But I'm impatient, so I did two quick projects. The first project is I replaced a Duracell AGM battery in my portable battery case that I use in my truck when I'm uh, camping off-road with my uh, rooftop tent. Uh, I redid a few things. One, I put a new fuse block on it, which uh, sends signal or current to these power pole connectors and also to this cigarette lighter and also to this BMW slash John Deere power outlet. I added in Alley AILI battery monitor, and I put a high current 50 amp Anderson connector on the top. Show you what's going on inside, not real exciting, but inside we have the shunt for the Alley battery monitor. We have a 60 amp circuit breaker. And I'm using a Chinese import 100 amp hour lithium battery that has low voltage charge, uh, low temperature charge uh, protection and high temperature charge protection. But we'll see how this works out. This battery was the least expensive low temperature charge protected battery I could find. Uh, today's date, which is um, April. Uh, 2022, it was $359 from Amazon. But the bigger project is over here, and I finally got my two Renogy lithium ion Bluetooth batteries. They finally showed up. I shouldn't say finally, they actually came very quickly. And I also have a Renogy 500 amp battery monitor that I'm going to use in the trailer. I'm going to replace the Bogart system that I currently have in the trailer with AGM batteries. Uh, as you can see right now, because I have two 12 volt batteries in parallel, I have, and they're 100 amp hours each, I have 200 amp hours of available and they're both charged and they're both at 100 percent. Uh, right now uh, there's no amperage going in, no amperage going out, everything's just sitting here. Here's the shunt for the Renogy 500 amp battery monitor. And here in the shop I'm using a Victron Energy Blue Smart 30 amp charger. Th this thing is amazing by the way. I mean I've been playing with battery chargers for years and uh, this thing is awesome. It just does a great job for lithium batteries, charges them fast, it controls them, it shuts the voltage down, up, whatever. It does a great job. Um, as you can see over here, these are the batteries from my boat. Uh, the Optima is the starting battery for the outboard motor and this Duracell AGM um, is one of the batteries that, uh, that was in that uh, battery box that I built and now it's sitting here on Optimate chargers. I only use Optimate chargers. I do not trust any other battery maintainers. I call them chargers. They're really not chargers. They're maintainers. Uh, I just recently replaced an AGM battery down in the basement of the house on my sump pump. It's been there since 1998 and it's 2022 now. The battery was at 10.5 volts. It was still actually running the sump pump, but obviously it was dead. So I replaced that with a, um, an AG, another AGM 100 uh, amp hour. I didn't go lithium down there, it's just not necessary. But it's simply amazing that with the Optimate charger on that battery in the basement, uh, that battery lasted all those years. Uh, over here in the corner, uh, you can't really see it because it's covered, I've got a 2007 Suzuki motorcycle. It has the original battery in it. It's a, a gel cell on an Optimate charger. And uh, it's still fine. Motorcycle starts up every time. 
The other nice thing about these Renogy batteries and the Victron Blue Smart Charger is they're all Bluetooth enabled. So currently right now, if you can see this, if I can get it to focus, uh, you'll see that uh, it's telling us battery 2 is at 99.1%. It's 100 amp hours. I have 200 amp hours of total current uh, available. And it uh, tells me the temperature in here. And then by just pushing this button here, we go to the other battery. And that battery is at 98.7%. Um, I'm finding these percentage things are off very slightly. The 500 uh, battery monitor is showing 100%. And this now let's just see if the Vic, well the Victron's not actually doing anything right now, so that's not going to show up. But there is an app for the Victron, and it gives you more information than. Be honest with you, I even know how to read. It tells you all kinds of history and what the heck is going on with the batteries, and I need to do more more read up on that. Uh, these Renogy batteries, just to tell you how the pricing has come down, uh, just a few months ago they were $750 a piece. They ended up costing me um, $475 each uh, with discounts and free shipping, um, no tax, and I believe it's a five-year warranty, if I'm not mistaken, maybe ten years, I forget. But I took a chance on them. Uh, Renogy is a name brand company. I've done a, used a lot of Renogy product over the years, so it's all worked out great. So far, these are working out great. And again, they have Bluetooth, they have low temperature protection, they have high temperature protection, they've got low, te low voltage discharge, high voltage, I should say low voltage protection, high voltage protection. They, they got it all. And uh, they were on sale for $499 a piece, and then there was a $50 coupon if you signed up for the Renogy email, which I did. So $949, two batteries delivered, and they showed up within, I don't know, about five days, which is pretty good, from the west coast to the east coast. So as soon as it stops raining, all this stuff is going to get loaded up into the toy hauler, and uh, we should have a good summer. Much quicker charging, uh, much more available electricity. Now, just quickly as a sidebar, I've got an Iceco refrigerator over here that when I had this refrigerator hooked up to the original Duracell battery, I'd get about three days out of it, and then the battery would be at 50%, and I'd have to charge it. You don't want AGM batteries to go down below 50%. And then, of course, to recharge it with a 200-watt portable solar panel system, I mean, it would basically take all day to recharge that battery back up, um, sometimes longer than all day to, to recharge the battery. So I experimented with it. I plugged the Iceco refrigerator in to the lithium battery in the new battery pack, and uh, I went over a week. In fact, it was only down to something like 60%. And I was like, okay, enough of this test. I shut it down. Um, the, the interesting thing was I hooked up the Victron charger and the battery was back up to 100% in like an hour and a half, maybe two hours. I, I don't remember. But really quick, I was blown away by it. So that's the advantage to lithium. Uh, one, you have more available electricity because you can take them down to safely down to about 20 percent instead of 50 percent. You can actually take them down to about 10 percent, but I don't recommend that. And, um, and they charge up so much faster. You can really dump some amperage in them, where with a regular AGM or wet cell battery, you dump a high amperage into them at first, but then it just slows down to a trickle for the last 25 percent or so. Where a lithium battery, you're dumping high current into them right to the end, or nearly to the end. They're excellent. The other thing is my 69-year-old back loves these batteries. It cracks me up every time I pick up one of these batteries, how light they are. I mean, they, 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 they're like nothing. In fact, this battery, I had it in the back of the truck, and uh, I had forgot that it was so light, and I went to pick it up, and I almost broke my jaw because the AGM batteries are almost 80 pounds. And this battery, I think, is somewhere around 25 pounds, if I'm not mistaken. In fact, let's uh, 
28.7 pounds is what this uh, Renogy battery weighs. By the way, here's your specs. Interesting. And what the heck, I'll show you how they, they showed up. Double boxed. Styrofoam. Very well packaged. I guess well enough. They both made it. So, that's good. I'm not sure where these are made. i got to believe they're made in China. Let's just see what it says. Does it say? Yep, there we go. Of course they are. Isn't everything? Anyways. So anyways, we'll see what happens with all of this. Uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe. And make sure you like down at the bottom. We'd appreciate that. And uh, we'll let you know how it all goes once we put it all in the trailer. Thanks.